So we're finally working on our gym. We'll see how long it takes. We'll see how much we do. Uh, we've got like a, well, a tape or plaster. Is that what that's called? Yeah. Dilemma. We don't know which one to use. The tape is like good, but whoever did the drywall in here sucked. <laughs> and like this drywall sticks out so much. So there's like a huge like. I don't know, difference of size? We'll see. I ain't gonna say it's gonna come out perfect because we're no pros, but it'll definitely look way better than it currently does. <laughs> we can't really screw it up any more than, yeah. <laughs> Good job. Good job. More? We have our little helper. She's good. She loves stickers, so this works. Painting is no joke. I am dripping in sweat. I don't, I don't think you can see it though, right? You can? I'm listening. I haven't even done one wall. <laughs> the stairs are easier. He, he agrees. Stairs are way easier. I don't know why they charge more for stairs. I would charge more. Maybe we don't know how to paint. Is there a technique we don't know of? I'm even putting a lot of paint on it because I'm like, whatever, just, just the if it just works. Ready. We're thinking that they use the wrong side of the drywall because the drywall should be like gray. It's like off white, right? And this is the back of it. They just did not make our job easy at all. Jeez. I'm being a baby because my hands hurt really bad. <laughs> like they're starting to burn, skin is coming off. I hate doing construction things or fixing anything. Painting. Painting. I, I think it's considered kind of, no, it's not. Well, like you're pulling out nails and stuff. Whatever. I don't like projects. I want this over. Look at this. Oh my God, it's so messy. Tomorrow's leg day. And I'm like, you gotta get my leg day in. But I'm not gonna be motivated to get it in when the garage looks like this. But we accomplished a lot. The whole wall, that whole wall is done, except for the corners. Um, this wall is done except for the top. And we got all the shelves off of this wall. We're gonna transfer the shelves yeah. to that wall. Yeah. Um, just because I always felt like it was a clutter here. We're gonna keep this pretty clean. Um, maybe we'll put like a small shelf because we use our speakers here. <laughs> so we kind of need it for that. But um, for now, we're just gonna paint. He has ideas to do, what is it? You're gonna put two ply, like a baseboard type of thing over this entire ugly area. Um, so it, it's coming along. Oh, and I got something in the mail. Baby, can you, can you send that to me? Um, there's a company who sent me four swimsuits. So I'm super excited about them. They look so cute and the material looks so nice. I'm not gonna show you guys. Just just a little peek. Uh, so we're gonna do a try-on haul for bikinis, and I'm thinking a giveaway too, guys. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the brand or anything, but I'm excited to do that one once I'm not so messy and full of paint and sweat. And I had a really good upper body day. It was supposed to be upper body today, and I mean, I didn't work the right muscles, <laughs> but it's a different kind of work, and oh, they're killing me. I don't even wanna know how I'm gonna feel tomorrow. <sighs> Let's finish this, though. But right now, we gotta go take showers and end the night, because I am pooped. Can't take anymore. You too? You just watch us. You don't do anything. She, she patched our holes. <laughs> Let's go. So we are headed to the store because we are gonna do another good food finds. You guys know I do this every couple weeks, weeks, <laughs> maybe like every month or so. Um, whenever we find good food finds, I would like to wait to build them up. That way, when I show you guys, I show you guys a couple things. Um, so right now we're going to pick up one thing because we ate it all yesterday and we didn't save the box because it was garbage day. <laughs> I was like, man, if only I had held on to that box, we could have done it right away. But we don't have it, so we're headed there. Uh, we're headed to the store to pick it up. Very good food finds, a couple treats in there. Thanks for your kids, so moms, pay attention. I will be showing you some good snacks. Um, but that's what we're headed to do. Luckily for him, because when I send him to the store alone, he always brings some random stuff home. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's eh. We 
savor those good ones and then we eat them till we get really tired of them. <laughs> for the past three days, we've been eating the same thing. I know, for the past three days, we've been literally eating the same thing over and over. I don't like to really switch things around too much. Um, but it's so good. And it is really good. So anyways, stay tuned. Now you have a red one. No wheels. Oh, has no wheels? Well, no wheels, no. Oh, it was steering wheel. Eddie almost ran over me. Jeez. <laughs> For my bulking people, look at that. 460 calories in here. And it's hard for you guys to read your calories. <laughs> This should totally be illegal. This serving is for three. 31 fat. So if you eat it all on your own, which is not even that much, it's like 93 grams of fat in this thing. 93. It should be illegal. Putting this shit back. <laughs> so confused. Somebody tell me what this is. Meatless barbecue porkless pockets. Pulled porkless shreds in a tangy stuff. What is it? If it's not pork, what is it? That's way too long, I'm not reading that. <laughs> the ingredients. <laughs> but it sounds sketchy. Baby, she loves her green peas. They're really healthy, we looked them up just out of curiosity. They're really good, we should probably start eating them too, babe. <laughs> uh, we just had a crazy craving for this. We were not gonna buy it. it made me think of McDonald's when I used to eat it. As much as I crave it, I cannot bring myself to eating it. Even if we were to go and order it and everything, it would sit in my lap and I'd be like, nope. <laughs> I remember as a kid, I used to love toaster strudels and my family would never buy them. They would buy Pop-Tarts, toaster pop I don't know what they were. They were nothing compared to these. So <sighs> Hydrogenated we wanted to oil. check. Yeah, and then when I got out of my house, I'm like, I'm buying a bunch of strudels and I would eat them all the time. And Little did I know, I was consuming a lot of trans fat. Things you find out. Shopping fasted left us very hungry. Uh, so we're gonna start cooking one of the meals that we absolutely uh, are in love with right now. We're doing one of them that uh, we had tried before, which is this creamy garlic shrimp, uh, which is really good, but they give you so much garlic that it feels garlic cream sauce wow so much sauce uh that it feels like it goes to waste you have a plate full of sauce and you're like this sauce is bomb what can i do with it pasta or well rice we would do those um this one is the lemon pepper that i want to give a shot i like lemon so i'm going to be cooking sorry i put that down too quickly um so i'm going to be cooking our pasta together but then we're going to separate it and do different pans for each person um, but we really like this because it's six grams of fat 12 grams of protein and two per container so you're getting 24 grams of protein in here but you don't get enough pretty shrimp. awesome it doesn't feel like there's enough shrimp so another thing you can do which we did yesterday um we used one packet and then we just added plain shrimp extra shrimp um, to it and then we did the rice and it, it was good we just put it on a bed of rice and it worked for us um, but because these are different flavors we're not gonna be mixing anything all right so I got my pasta cooking the only thing I put in the water was a little bit of salt and then his mom uses it on everything and I I now do that too <laughs> um, so that's what's in the water just for a little bit of flavor it's almost done so I'm gonna start doing the shrimp now people complain to me like Florina I have to cook for my husband too you know and I tell them cook separately and they act like it's such a big deal it's the same amount of time it's just one pan more to wash that's it and then I threw my pan um, all right so we're gonna add some shrimp I'm adding three ounces you're adding four ounces um, it really doesn't come out they look huge but that's because they're covered in sauce so I'm gonna start cooking those about four ounces you would say so, it's pretty much I do it on low because you got to kind of defrost everything that's all I'm gonna do and then once the pasta is done I'm gonna put it in so it can blend with the sauces
Do you see how creamy it is? So when you eat that, you kind of feel like, what should I do with all this creaminess? Add some pasta, add some carbs. <laughs> So now you just divide the pasta. Uh, it's 992 for Lila. <laughs> Look at that, that's one serving. Is that crazy? So little. Now you just add the whole thing right on top of the pasta and you have a creamy entree. I don't know what to call it. Shrimp entree. Woo! A lot of creaminess. <laughs> you want all of it? Yeah. Okay. I may not put all of it. <laughs> You're like, yes! Make it a soup! <laughs> oh, mine is a little more creamy. So that's fine. Perfect. And for Lila, we're just adding a four cheese alfredo. Usually she likes the red sauce more. I couldn't find any, although I swear there's some in there. I'll probably find it when I don't need it. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna put for hers. That hair though. As you can see how cute Lila eats, it is so adorable. Anyways, now we're gonna start with the foods, or the good finds. Um, of course, the ones we just shown you guys. By the way, if you eat the lemon pepper one, check your teeth. <laughs> it is not a good first date food, because I had a whole bunch of pepper between my teeth. Thanks, babe. Right before I started, he's like, mm, <laughs> something's happening. <laughs> um, so those are really, really good, but even better, and if you suck at cooking, because I get that excuse a lot. But Florina, I don't cook. No complaining. Uh, one gram of fat, 17 grams of protein, 42 grams of carbs. Awesome thing is they don't even put artificial color. Everything is, they have paprika, um, natural smoke flavor, all natural flavors in this. This is the chipotle one. We have cilantro lime and garlic butter and every single one has one gram of fat i think 17 7 okay se 17 fat. grams of protein and this one has 16 grams of protein this one's a bit lower carbs 38 uh, but yeah these three i think they had one more but i don't remember what it was called right we just didn't care um it was jewel yeah and it was from jewel we got that from jewel skinny cow chocolates you get to have three of these pouches filled with delicious yumminess. It's like a really soft raspberry. They have caramel as well. As you guys know, I love chocolate, but chocolate is always super high in fat. Seven grams of fat for these guys. So it's a really nice treat. Um, 18 carbs, not bad. I can sit and have them while I'm doing emails and it motivates me to continue doing emails. <laughs> so another awesome treat if you love chocolate. Next thing, mini muffins, another snack. Now, what's great about these is they have eight grams of protein. What? I know, that's crazy. They have eight grams of protein, eight grams of fat, so the ratios aren't the best, but a client who just made me think about this was like, Florida, she screenshot her macros, what can I fill in here? I told her cheese stick or... <laughs> Um, I'm surprised that it even has this much uh, protein in it, but hey, Aldi. that's all good. Aldi. You guys know you guys can trust Aldi with good stuff. Um, gelato, this is another treat. Like obviously don't eat all three of these in one day. You're asking for trouble. That's a lot of added sugar. But if you have a sweet tooth, one serving is enough. I got greedy, did two, Ugh, too much. Uh, he agrees too. 
only the well this one has eight grams of fat some of them have seven grams of fat uh, 27 carbs three protein um, but one serving is totally enough and it'll make you feel so great yeah um, the salted caramel has in my opinion too much flavor you really like it I like the other caramel but I forgot what it's called it's just not vanilla caramel something like that that's the one I really like lastly moms you will love this and people in general because I like how it tastes Paw Patrol they make snacks that are all organic, pure growth organic. They even have yogurt and it tastes delicious. I know because I ate them all. Lila won't eat them. That's fine, whatever. She likes this though. Now I'm saying this because uh, a lot of like cartoons, you know, it grabs the kids' eyes, characters, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and they want that really bad. And they had Peppa Pig. And I was so angry because Peppa Pig has hydronated oils in some of them. So, like, it broke my heart to tell her no. But, yeah, I wasn't going to let her have that just because it said Peppa Pig on it, you know. Um, but the Paw Patrols, I love that you can actually trust it. She sees it in the store, grabs it. I know there are good ingredients. That's why I'm sharing it with you guys. Out of curiosity, I tried one of them. Tastes really good. I like it. We and just... The product there from Paw Patrol has been good has been very good well they're all organic but we are buying her like i guess i mean we found it on amazon because you can't find it in every store so your best bet is online but they have like little gummies so we're gonna get her that and they're all fruit um so i wanted to share that one because i think it's pretty cool when a cartoon character or something really cares about the kids and knows hey parents are gonna see that kids really want this should we feed them junk or should we feed them good quality food so paw patrol thank you guys uh what oh link in the description box for for those yeah because i mean we it was a lucky find at ross like the line before like leaving out and that's where she found found the pop no peppa pig and we hid that one really quick but she likes Paw Patrol a lot right now, so she chose that one anyways. Um, but yeah, link in the description for those. Anyways, hope you guys found, found, found the cool finds to be awesome. I don't know what I'm saying. The carbs haven't kicked in. Um, but it was a good plate before doing my gym, which we should show you guys what we've done. It was nighttime when we finished, so you couldn't really see too well. Look, our garage is done. Nah. Um, but this is what it looks like daytime. White. White. Stop barking. Um, we're going to start working on this. Paint this wall now. Finish this wall. We bought more brushes. We only had one of the rolly thingies, so only one person was doing it. That is why my hands are killing me. Luna, get back in. Yeah, the door is open. You're going to escape. <laughs> and I was supposed to do leg day, but I'm not feeling inspired by all this. <laughs> uh, so that's not going to happen. We're going to try to finish this garage. I'm hoping we can finish it. Do you think we can finish it, babe? Today? We still got the ceiling. That, I don't know. <laughs> Who cares about the ceiling? Just don't look up. <laughs> Too bad you see it right away. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so this is what we're going to work on. We are going to end the vlog here. Hopefully the next time you guys see us, this place will be done. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. If you haven't already, hit that bell for notifications. And until next time, because I always forget what day it is. Bye, guys. <laughs>